What are your memories of the May raid then? The May raid. Um, right. Um, it's late at night. I am sitting on a sofa on the ground floor in the back room of a house in Belfast. I'm not on my own. Mummy is sitting beside me. She's got her arm around me. She's holding me very close. My sister is on the other side of Mummy. She's seven, but Mummy's still holding her very close. It's one of the days when my father is off duty and he is at home. He is standing over against the... He's in the dark, of course. He's standing in the dark with his back against the chimney breast. I don't know whether Mummy has a blanket that goes from her feet up over her head and tucks down the back of the sofa, but I do, and my sister does. And as I would like to say, we're hiding from the noise, the script, the um, whistling, the wailing, the rattling on the roof, and the loud bangs. Right. Mum's told us not to be frightened of the noise because the noise can't hurt us. But the house, I know the house is frightened of the noise because every time there's a loud bang, bang it gives a little shiver. All right, then. This is going on and on, and all of a sudden there is a very loud bang, and the house seems to jump up in the air. And the next thing we know, or I know, is there is things falling on the blanket. It feels just like somebody's throwing things at me. Dad puts his torch on, and you can see what a mess there is. The only thing I can tell you about the mess is that the clock is smashed. Uh, but my father says, we need to get out of here. It will not stand another shaking like that. And we pick our way to the front door. He struggles to get it open. He gets it open and there's something burning on the garden path and he throws a bucket of sand over it. And then we all step out into the road. He puts one hand on my head and we, one hand on top of my sister's head. And along with mummy, we set off for the air raid shelter. Now, out in the street, it's like daylight. Everywhere you look, there's something burning. I'd like to say that ours was the only house. It wasn't actually on fire, but I can't, can't say that is would be true. But just up the road from us, the house is, one of the houses is a light. It's got flames coming out of every door, window, and through the roof. And the street is full of people running about. I mean, it's just like you've gone into a wood, found an ant's nest and given it a kick. They're just running everywhere. They're running in and out of the houses, saving their belongings. They're running around, calling out names, trying to locate people they've lost during the um, air raid. And there are others who are just running about. They want to run away, but they don't know where to run to because there is nowhere to run to. Everywhere you look is on fire. We make our way to the um, public air raid shelter and we wait there until the, the all clear goes and we can go back home. But I do not remember going back into that house again, ever. I... Uh, I saw it, it was, you could see the front was badly damaged at the, um, when we come back. And my sister and I then went to, or evacuated to a, a farm somewhere in Ireland. It was run by a Mr. and Mrs. Rankin. And we stayed there until, I wrote the date down, we stayed there too. 
Well, we stayed there from the 19th of August, 1941, when my parents come and took us back home to England. <laughs>